my little girl was so good today. She won't uh, wear a different shirt. She wants to wear her monkey pajama shirt, so whatever. She could wear that. But then she got a timeout um, doing something that she shouldn't have. So she was in timeout for two minutes. And then she still wanted to apologize for what she did when she got out. Um, but we're going to go outside and we're going to transplant the violet. So, <laughs> all right? I can't have it. You can have it. It's yours. Yeah, I can have my fingers with it. All right, so it is 3.34. Karina and I had a very good morning slash afternoon just played and didn't really do much of anything productive. Just, I was even going to, like, I talked to James. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, this is how our day's been so far. And Karina went potty in the potty three times so far today. Like, whatever, just, like, normal conversation. And um, he's like, yeah, so what are you guys going to be up to? I'm, like, packing for camping. Well, I didn't exactly pack for camping, but that's okay. I have all day tomorrow to do it. Camping is at till 5. We have one class in the morning tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. And then when we get back from that, we should get back around noon. Um, I should be able to uh, pack everything up for camping and be ready to go. What hurts? What are you doing that's ouch? Why are you saying ouch over and over again? So, um... Yeah, basically tomorrow should be a very good day. One class in the morning, camping at night, all night. We did have other activities to do tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to do anything else besides from camping and um, whatever the, the kindergarten class is called tomorrow. Oh, oh, not do that. Not do that? Well, what are you doing to hurt yourself, Karina? Why are you saying, ouch, are you pinching yourself? Like, what are you doing? Are you pinching? Please don't pinch yourself. Give yourself a kiss on the arm where you're trying to pinch yourself. I know it's on the arms. Please don't hurt yourself. Mama loves you, baby. Mama doesn't want you hurting yourself. I know you hurt your arm. Will you kiss it? Are you pinching your tummy? Kiss your hand and press your hand against your tummy. Okay, Mama will kiss it when we get to where we're going. So yeah, we are going to go out to eat, and then we are going to go to the bounce house, and then from the bounce house we're going to go to a dance party, and then from the dance party we're going to go see the fireflies. From the fireflies we're going to go home, we're going to have dinner, and we are going to go to bed, and then we are going to get up at, I need to get up at 8 to be ready for a 9.30 class, um, because the class is, I think, 30 minutes away from me anyway, so I need to leave the house at 8.30. But, um, yeah, tomorrow should be a really, really fun day. Um, James is going out tonight with his friends. Uh, one of his friends might have um, a free ticket for him to go see the movies. He's like, I might go see the movies uh, with Wayne. I'm like, he's like, I think he has a free ticket. I'm like, well, if it's a free ticket, I'll, by all means, please go. You know, if it's not a free ticket, though, he can't go. Because he just got um, a Samsung S8 phone that we can't afford. Um, but whatever, he wanted, he wanted to replace his, and he should have went through the insurance, and honestly, I think we have, like, 15 days, so I'm trying to make it down to that store before the 15-day time period and be like, look, you know, his telephone is broken, we should really be going through the insurance, here's your phone back, and for $150, we will replace it with, hopefully, an S8 instead of an S7, um, because I got an S7 with $150 for the replacement when I broke my phone, um, honestly, he's like, oh, I didn't even think about, like, he called me. When he was at the store, I'm like, is it a refurbished phone? And he's like, no, it's a new phone. I'm like, Can, do they have any pre-owned phones? And he's like, oh, I didn't even think about asking. You know, so, like, he always, like, goes, like, the most expensive route where, like, I'm always thinking of how to cut, you know, a corner to save, like, a little bit of money or maybe even a lot of money in this case on my phone. You know, so, I don't know. It, I really... I don't want to pay for this phone. I don't want to pay for it brand new. Um, I don't really have an option though. So, but we're gonna have to go through the insurance. I'm gonna have to see what's up with um, what they have for the insurance. See if they have an SA on it, and then if they do, I'm gonna be like, look, just please put it through insurance and take this phone back. You know, he's going to be like, oh, but, you know, he doesn't want to go through the paperwork steps. He'll spend $850 on a phone 
instead of going through the paperwork and spending 150 Like, that's the type of person I'm married to. And, you know, that's when the neighbor was like, oh, he talked to Jesse and he's doing the paperwork. Whoa, my husband does not do paperwork. Not even to save himself, you know, $600, $700. I know, baby. You like paperwork. You like to draw. You like to draw, baby. I got a mosquito bite on my knee. It's annoying. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a good day today. It's going to be a good day tomorrow. And then on Monday, we're going to hopefully fix the phone situation and get him um, the same phone cheaper. And, uh, yeah. But right now we're going out to eat and then we're going to do all of our activities. And um, it's faster, honestly, just to drive down to eat than to make food and dishes. We already have, like, food made that we could eat, but I'd much rather just, you know, have someone be like, hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? And just go out, you know, and meeting up with Eva and the kids and Karina's going to, you know, play with the other kids and uh, have fun before she goes and plays with more kids to have fun and go to the dance party to have fun. And then um, the meetup is with the mom's group tonight, so we are going to go to meet up and hopefully meet up with other mamas and babies there that we know maybe or we'll get to know like I joined a meetup group so that I got to know like other moms in my town and really it's not working out well like everyone goes to the activities and we hardly ever actually meet up with the other mamas from the group, which is honestly like really sad but like I am a helicopter mom though like if there's another kid there any other kid doesn't matter who. I mean, little monkeys tend to hurt each other, steal each other's toys. I mean, everything's competition-based. Um, so, I stay really, really close. Yeah, baby. I stay really, really close to my monkey, you know? And, um, you know, I make sure to watch her, make sure she's not stealing toys, make sure no one is stealing toys from her. Um, you know, a couple of the kids are a little bit bigger, a little bit rougher. Um, you know, my child is a single child, so, like, when someone takes a toy, she's like, what is this? You know, like, this was mine, like, you know, so I say, okay, we're gonna take a turn now, and, you know, you're gonna share with this person, and, you know, so we take a turn, whatever, but then I make sure she eventually gets the toy back if she wants it back, you know, um, a lot of parents sit on the sidelines, don't even get into, like, sand pits or, like, whatever you're doing, um, with their children, which is surprising to me, because, you know, you only have little kids for a little while, you might as well join in the fun. And, uh, it's hard to record and join the fun, that's why I eventually stopped recording and just play. You know, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I can't just sit on the sidelines and be like, oh, she got this, she's two, she's two years old, she's a tiny little baby, she's newly hatched, she is only two, I am not gonna be like, yep, she got this, nope, nope, mama's gonna be right there until, you know, she's big enough to be like, oh, you know, and she knows better, until she knows better, until she's there, you know, and, uh, most of the other kids don't know better yet either because they're just not there yet either, you know? So you have to have eyes and ears on your children at all points in time whenever they're out. And I do, I correct other kids' behaviors. If someone pushes my kid, I'm like, hey, we don't push. There's no pushing here. End of story, you know? And uh, so the other kids actually listen to me very well. And, you know, she listens, like, most of the time anyway. Most of the time, they're, like, you know, if there's, like, a kid cutting in line and we're in line for, like, the blow-up ride or whatever... You know, I'm like, oh, there's no cutting. We're right here. You know, you're going to go behind us. And, you know, the other kids do listen. And they're like, oh, there's an adult here. You know, like, yeah, there's an adult watching. So, and I also don't let them cut in front of the other kids, like, in front of us either. So, you know, because there's no, there's no need for that. So, I do. I correct behavior a lot. Um, you know, most of the parents thank me for doing that. You know, when someone gets toy stolen, they give it back to the kid. And they're like, oh, thank you so much for doing that for her absolutely I mean you know so it's just you have to always have eyes and ears on your little monkeys because you know little apes don't share so not yet they're just not there yet and you know big apes don't share either I would never give my phone to my girlfriend and be like here here's my phone you could go through it and do whatever you want for 15 minutes like no I'm not gonna give her my phone just like I'm not gonna give her my car keys because no one's entitled to your car keys or your phone or your child's like don't let people be entitled to your stuff like so I mean adult apes don't share either children apes are taught to share because sharing is a very good thing when it's community toys but adult apes do we share community stuff like right down the line that's what we share we don't share like I'd never have my dial my daughter like 
share something super personal that's hers, you know, like, I don't know, her favorite doll, maybe, you know, if she had it with her, but, you know, because, you know, doll tapes don't do that either, <laughs> so, you yeah, know, it's kind of like a boundary thing, you have to have good boundaries, which is funny, my husband doesn't even believe in boundaries, he doesn't even know what boundaries are, it's crazy, because he was raised, so, it doesn't matter how you're raised, honestly, it's what you learn as an adult, I wasn't really raised with the word boundaries around either really but I mean everyone has them you could tell that everyone has them it's just you're not really aware of what it is until you're like in high school and you're in psychology class you know whatever anyway I'm just rambling I have no no music in my car at all and I have no internet outside the house at all because if I use my internet outside the house yes angel you could get some sauce when we get there. She wants applesauce. And, um, she has a spoon in her head. She's like, I want some sauce. And, uh, I'm actually thinking I'm getting a cold, which sucks, because I feel, like, really tired. My nose is kind of stuffy, and my eyes, maybe it's, um, allergies. I don't know. My eyes are kind of watery. I know you want some applesauce, my angel. Mama's not going to give it to you. I just, I have no radio on this car. It's so boring to drive places because it takes so long. And, like, all you do is sit here and you think about things. Because <laughs> like, there's nothing else to really do. Like, I talk to my daughter sometimes. I sing her songs. And, you know, just think about the world around me and what I'm doing. And, like, I don't know. It's just so boring. I have nothing to do, really. Like, it'd be nice if we have, like, a bubble around us. When is our turn, Mama? It's um, it's gonna be soon, baby. You can have a turn with applesauce in 10, 11, 12, 14 minutes when we when we are there, okay? We'll be there in fourteen minutes, and then we're gonna go eat, and um, we're going to take a twenty-two minute drive down to another event, okay? It'll be fun, I promise you. It's really funny. I wanted to get free wood to make my garden, right? And James wants to get pressure treated wood. I have no idea how much the pressure treated wood's gonna be. I don't know why we can't just stain it and lacquer it ourselves, but um, because the stain on the lacquer is gonna I think gonna be a lot less than buying wood that's pressure treated. But um, he's like, Oh, that wood that you want to get because I want to get the crates. No, the crates that are like left out in the rain all the time and like they don't biodegrade. Yeah, We're not there yet, we're gonna be there soon. Um, and, like, they're just everywhere. People are just giving them away. Well, I wanted to take his car. He's like, I don't want to move the stuff out of my car. And he told me already, oh, you could take, you know, the SUV if you need it, if you want to go down and pick something up or whatever. Well, I do. I want to pick up um, sand. I want to put a tent outside with sand in it for my daughter. And uh, so this way, we'll have, when the pool's out there, we'll have the pool, we'll have the sand pit, we'll have the big sprinkler ball if it ever gets warm enough around here. Right now, it's... June, I think it's yes, yeah, June, and it's cold. Like it's cold today. It was cold yesterday. It was cold in the water. I had to bring out hot water for the swimming pool. You know, like I want my daughter to have all these amazing memories, but it's just like we went to Florida a couple of years ago, and it was so nice and warm. Like it was raining. It was warm. It was not raining. We went down to Universal. It was our first big vacation together. We'd been there. We've been together for ten years already. And, um, you know, this was, like, forever ago. And, um, you know, so we went down for, like, our 10-year anniversary or something. And maybe it was our 8-year, I don't know. I don't remember what year it was. But, um, James and I have been together for a long time. Maybe it's not as long as what I'm thinking. It's 2017. Five. We've been together for 12 years already. And, no, it must have been, like, our 8-year anniversary. Baby. And, um... Like, off and on 12 years. It hasn't been a consistent 12 years. Um, you know, we were together in the beginning. And basically, I just took care of him. Like, I took care of him a lot of those years. I'm not giving you applesauce yet. You're in a white shirt in the back seat. I'm not going to give you applesauce. And, um, you know, so... What was my point? Oh, it was so warm down there. And it was so nice. I'm like, why can't we just move south? Like, I was supposed to move south in 2009. 
I was supposed to be done. Like I finished paying off my student loans. Everything was done. Um, you know, I found a $475 a month apartment down south next to the beach. And you want me to take this one for you? Is it? And, um, you know, like I was done. I was done with being up north. I was done with my jobs, basically. Like I had good jobs, but I was just like, I even lined up a job down south. And then, um, 2009, I finished being up there. Which I, was, I was leaving in like 2008. Um, I don't remember right now. Because James moved back in Thanksgiving of 2008. But no, I finished paying up my loans, I think, though, in 2009. And, um, you know, it was just... I don't know. I just started talking to James again for some reason. And, you know, he was like, Oh, you know, no one's helping me out with gas. And I can't get to class. And everyone's complaining at me. And I got, you know, all this stuff I got to do. And blah, 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 blah. So he was supposed to stay at my house, like, a couple days a week. Just so that he could go to and from his classes, right? And so my landlord was like, you know, who's this? Like, you know, I was heading down to work and he was painting the downstairs because I was on the third floor. And, um, you know, he's like, you know, I see someone coming in out of your house sometimes. And, you know, who is that? And I'm like, oh, you know, that's James. Uh, he's just going to class, just staying here a couple days a week. He's like, you know, if he's staying here a couple days a week, then you owe me extra money. And I'm like, oh, well, I can do that. You know, that's fine. So, you know... And he was like, does he have a key? And I'm like, well, yeah, he has a key. I gave him a key. And so since he had a key and he was staying there three days a week, um, I had to pay more money to live there. So I told him, look, I'm not letting you out of the car. Uh, I told him, look, you know, I have to pay more money for you to be here anyway. You might as well just stay. So he just moved back in. He left in 2007 because we got to spat over nothing. Um, I asked Alexis to move her stuff like four feet away from where she had it because I had to do a mailing list for Jackie. And, um, you know, I had gotten in from catering and I was talking to Rachel on the phone about going out to meet up with some people. And, uh, so we did, we actually, we left and, um, like the next day I had a dentist appointment and I got a job because school was out and, um, you know, I was replacing hours. I had graduated from school and, um, so I was replacing my hours with a new job, you know, being, um, assistant down at the vitamin shop. And so I got the job like that day and I came back in, I had to go to the dentist and James was awake. And I'm like, you know, will you take me down to the dentist? Cause he drove and I walked everywhere. He would not give me right. He was like, Oh, you need to learn what it's like to walk. I'm like, I've always been a walker. Like, what are you talking about? So like he never, like, I don't even know why he was living with me besides when I was paying for the rent, you know? Um, and he would like, you know, be nice to me sometimes and like string me along and whatever. And I, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> our entire relationship was messed up in the beginning. Um, so, you know, then he hit me and I'm like, okay, I don't want to ever see you again. Just get out of my house. And he was like, you'll, so I was walking down and, um, you know, I went to the dentist and I was walking down to school after that because I had to do my final project. And, um, you know, he started calling me. He was like, if I leave and I go to Corey's house, you'll never see me again. I'm like, good, get out of my house. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm done with you. I'm done with this. Get out of my house. And, uh, you know, so I, did, I kicked him out that day. I'm like, I'm done. And then he came back a few times to see if he can move back in. I'm like, no, no, you can't move back in. I'm not taking you back. This is not happening anymore. Like, you know, so he left. Him and Alexis, they left. They packed up their stuff and they left my house. And, you know, um, yeah. And, you know, it was just completely messed up. And so I didn't talk to him. Like, I dropped off his backpack and, like, all his paperwork that he left at my house at his new place, um, a few months later, you know, and that was it, like, I didn't see him anymore, and all of a sudden, a year later, he starts calling me, and he's like, oh, you know, I got nowhere to go, no, no one's helping me out, you know, give me, like, this, like, big whole sob story about no one will give him gas money, whatever, so I'm like, well, I need help with the car, so he came over, he helped with the car, and then, uh, he just was like, oh, you know, if I come over to visit you, I need internet, whatever. So, like, he was costing me more money. Like, James eats different things than I do. Like, he's really, like, has expensive 
like an expensive palette. He calls it a more refined palette. So like, you know, that he did, he like, I was like, well, I'm leaving. Like I even told him I'm leaving. I don't think he listened to me though. Like I'm, I told him like I'm leaving. I found a different place to live. Um, you know, and I was supposed to be packing up and leaving and like getting rid of a lot of stuff and leaving. And, um, for some reason though, instead, instead of me leaving and going down south, then I decided to stay and help him graduate. Because I said that I would all those, like, two years before that in the beginning. I was like, oh yeah, you know, we can help each other. And he wasn't helping me. I don't know why I even kept my word. I kept my word because I kept my word and that was it. It was stupid. The whole thing was stupid. And then, uh, yeah, we just stayed together. Like, he graduated, he left, uh, he got into a car accident, I asked him for help, because, you know, we helped him out, so he had to help me out. So he did, and, yeah, then he was still, like, back and forth and whatever, and now he just wants me to take complete and total care of him, and, like, he's a small child, and it's just, I don't know, I just want to go down south. So, I don't know. This, the whole thing is crazy. I don't like when he tells me, oh, you do nothing, though. It's like, I do a lot. Like, whether or not you see it, I really do so much. Like, my time is completely eaten up by everything, you know. Which is why I like to go out to eat and have someone be like, oh, so how are you today? You know, like, what are you up to today? You know, like, they don't really ask questions like, what are you up to today? But they're like, oh, you know, how are you? What would you like to drink? What would you like to eat? And you know, you get to have something nice to eat and drink that you don't have to clean up afterwards, and it's really, really nice. So, you know, it's just really, really nice to be around, like, your community and <laughs> have a nice meal. So, yeah, there's some backstory on James and my history. It's just, it's all kind of crazy, you know, it's always been kind of crazy, whatever. And he's always, like, threatening things or whatever, but... You know, in the end, I think that we do kind of love each other and kind of just stick it out and make this work. Because we kind of need each other, you know? Like, I think that you need a partner and I think that you shouldn't do what I did. Don't just choose the first person that you're with and be like, oh, it's going to last forever. And I used to be so delusional about forever or whatever. Because, oh, you're the first person. You know, whatever nonsense. Don't do that. You know? Yeah. I have more experiences just stick it out with the first person that you decide to date. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, though. You can sit there all night. They won't care. Anywhere you go. As long as they're serving food. <laughs> you sent me a photo. It looked really good. Like when, yeah, the stuff was turned this way towards like the back walls and then in the front, and the baby stuff was all on the side. I'll show you. All right, so we went out to eat. We saw our friends. We're gonna stop by back at the house because I forgot the water bottles. We cannot go places without water bottles um, because you know you never know what kind of water you're getting. And the water bottles that I have filter out the water. They're Brita filters, so it's not like the best filters in the world. But at least I know it's filtering out most of it. You know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stop back by the house and then we're gonna go to the bounce house and do that for a bit. And then we're gonna have the rest of our night to have tons of fun and uh, I just looked up because I had internet where I was so um, I looked up the class that we're supposed to be attending it's not until Thursday of next week it's at 9 30 in the morning is on a Thursday so like they keep like texting me like now and I thought it was tomorrow because they're like oh yeah you know it's I thought the text message said it was like tomorrow or something but apparently no it's on Thursday unless my day is wrong inside the calendar I'm not really sure now but, um, yeah, I'm glad that it's not tomorrow morning. And, um, I do have stuff I could do, like, tomorrow during the day. But it would lead us right into the camping trip. So, if I could get us ready in the morning, tomorrow morning, um, I could probably go out in the afternoon with Karina and then come home, pick up James, and go straight into camping. Like, if I could pack all the stuff into James's car and, um just be like, okay, look, we're all set. We're leaving now. We'll see you in like, you know, 
three hours we'll be back um we could go out during the day tomorrow too so it depends on uh what james wants us to do and if he wakes up so um the camping trip doesn't start till five o'clock at night so he should be awake by then and uh, i'm hoping that he just you know, comes along, and when we get there, he doesn't start freaking out about, you know, setting up the tent and stuff like that, that he just does it, and, you know, just relaxes, and has some fun, like, I know that he's stressed when he goes places with me, um, I don't know how he's not stressed when he goes places with his friends, unless he is, I'm just not there to see it, he drives them crazy, you know, but whatever, it's no big deal, we'll figure it out, so, he's supposed to be going to the movies today with his friend, I'm happy for that. Just like, okay, yeah, go to the movies and relax and have fun. And then, you know, come home later on tonight and we'll do dinner. And, you know, it should be a fun night and it should be a fun day and a fun night tomorrow into the morning. So I'm really, really hoping this turns out as well as I think it's going to, you know. Because if I could get him to, like, a few experiences, and I'm going to start just going, okay, look, let me go get the tickets. You know, my counselor's like, just go and tell him that you need to buy tickets for things, you know. Uh, you know, let me go pay for, you know, our spot or whatever. And, like, just go over, talk to some people, say hi, sign up with the sign-up sheet, and go back to him and be like, okay, it's all taken care of, let's go, you know, like, whatever. Because James doesn't like to go to things that are free. So, if he thinks that we're paying, like, 5 or $10 to go per person, maybe he'll start going places with me. How sad is that? But, you know, maybe he will. And I thought he had fun the other day at Once Upon a Story, and apparently he thought it was dumb. He was like, oh, he started going places with you. It's like, dude, you went two places with me. You went to Once Upon a Story, and you went to the Franklin Institute. Two places, you know. It's not like you're coming with me every day, everywhere. But the amount and frequency of places I take my daughter to places, or amount and frequency of, like, days I take my daughter to places, that's really, like, not a lot of outings with us at all you know I know I probably just go out too much or whatever but like I can't stay home for too many days in a row so just can't yeah no, he, I think he just misses her old life he's like oh back when you used to love me you used to take care of me it's like I still love you and I still take a lot like I think a lot of other husbands like pitch in and help out like it doesn't matter whether the woman's like a housemaker or, you know, goes off to work. I think that a lot of other men are just like, oh, you know, let me put together my lunch in the morning, like for the morning, or let me fix my coffee up so this in the morning will be easier for my day. Like, I think he expects a lot with a small child in the house. He's like, oh, you want me to be angry with her? I'm like, no, I don't want you to be angry with her daughter. I just want you to realize that I don't have a bunch of time. And he's like, you have all the time in the world like type of stuff. It's like, I don't have all the time in the world. You know, my, I don't have just nothing to do. I'm doing stuff because I choose to do it. You know, I guess I could stay home every day and every night and just cook and clean at the house and, you know, just do homeschool and that's it. But I mean, like, I want my daughter to have experiences outside the house with other people and kids and be social and interact and play and have, like, tons of places that she could go to. Like, there's so many free things around us that we could go to. Like, that sand pit that I take her to is free. The animals I take her to go see, that stuff is all free, you know? It's all with the community events and stuff. So, and then, like, he thinks I'm wasting my time and money driving her around. It's like, but you drive around to go fishing, and you don't take home any fish. Like, he hasn't taken home a single fish this year because they're not fishing spots, um, that you can't take home the fish. So, his fishing expeditions are just to relax, purely. And he's getting, like, test weight for the yarn or thread or whatever it's called for the line that he's using. And he's getting sinkers and bobbers and all this stuff. His friend from work, though, gave him a lot of free stuff, which was really nice. Even gave him the secondary tackle box. We're going home right now. If you want to go home, we're going home right now. If you want to stay at home, we can stay at home. But if you want to go to the bounce house, we're leaving. We... If you want to go to the bounce house? Good. That's what I was planning on taking you to. We're going to go home, 
grab the water bottles, run to the bounce houses, have a half an hour with the bounce houses, and then go to the dance party, okay? And then we'll do the entire dance party, and then after that we're going to go see the fireflies. It should be a magical night, Karina. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> hoping tonight will be magical. So, that's what you always hope, I think, when you take your kids out. Like, it's just going to be like this really fun adventure, you know? All right, I think this event is the best today. I don't think it's going on. There's no bounce house or anything. It is Friday. It's the right day. It's just I don't... We'll stop by again later. All right, so it is Friday, and this event is supposed to be going on right now. Um, there's no bounce house, though, that I can see. So we're just going to go straight to the other event because we could go and get set up for that. Um, I have no idea why the bounce house isn't there, but I go specifically to that event for Karina for the bounce house. Um, and to like listen to live music and whatever, and I like when it gets dusk out and you know everyone's all together as a community. But um, no, I really do go to the events so for Karina. Um, to just have fun and play with things. There's no bounce house yet. It's only 6.13 right now though. That event's supposed to start at 6 o'clock. Um, so since there's no bounce house right now, maybe it starts at 7. Maybe I've been showing up on time, but I thought late. I don't know. Um, so we'll try um, in between this event and the next one to stop back there and see if there's a bounce house up. So there's not even like a pile of cars in today either. So it's okay, baby. We're just going to go to another event anyway. We had another event scheduled, so it's all good. It'll be a fun, fun day. I'm starting to wonder that if it's because it's supposed to rain today, there's like the events are gone. I don't know. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go play. Good job, Angel. Go ahead, it's tough, sir. Great to her little Daddy. tiny legs. Excuse me. Go ahead, baby. Good job, baby. You got it? Ready? Mama got you. Go ahead. Can I see over here? Can you use the rings to climb up? You got it, go ahead. Put me up. Put you up here. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Wait for mama. All right, let's go. All right, can you find Delvin anywhere? Delvin around? Is it the one that got you? No, you didn't. Gotcha. No, you didn't. Yeah, I totally did. Boy, I got the little boy at the park. Yeah? I got the little boy at the park. Oh, is he at the park with us? Oh, Tilly, hey, Pop. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you warm with the jacket on or are you okay? Okay, because it's kind of cool outside, but it's warmer in here. So we could put our jackets down if you want a little bit. Do you want to go down this covered slide out here? No? Okay, we don't have to. Wanna go down the slide? Ava! Look what I'm doing. One, two, three. 
about hitting India. Come here. Ready? Whoa. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Uh -oh, he's here. Ready? Whee! Whoa. Whee! Ready? Whee! Ready? 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 Look at the barrel of wood. The wagon of wood. It's like these flowers are so pretty. And duckies. Yeah, they are duckies. And a rabbit. And a hen. And a bunch of flowers. And a frog. No. <laughs> Do you see the kitty cat? No, me and Tony said. Look at the beehive. What shape do bees make inside the hive? Six sides, right? No, a different bench. They make a pentagon with six sides all the time. What bench are we sitting on? That's right, baby. That's right. What is this over here? A frog and the sheep. Very good. Did you see what's over here? A dog. A dog. That's right. No. Come here, baby. They're sliding down. Watch your fingers. Want to come over this way? Like there's more stuff over here. Let's see the boot. Look at this. The yak and a pig. You want some help? No. Push the chair. Push the chair. You got it, girl. My little girl, you got it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, mama. Big swing. You see how it goes down? You be careful. Mama. Yeah, come on. Give me your hands. Give me both your hands. Ready? Ready? Give me both your hands. You got it. You got it. You got it, baby. See the bridge? This was, the bridge was supposed to be a lot of fun. Oh, you got it! Why don't you go up there and come down? Let Mama help you down. Look at how high this strap is. Okay. Okay, so let me get down first. You want to go back across the bridge? Walk, baby, walk. We are girls. Yes, we are girls. That's right. Okay. Let me get down first, okay? That'll help you down. Okay? Come on, baby. Oh, I love you. Want to play in the ship? In the pirate ship? You are my kid. 
Oh, these don't spin. Forgot. You're my kid. That's right. You're mine. You're my kid, baby. The cannon, it's a drum. Yay! Is this a lookout? Can you actually see through this? Oh, you can. That's so cool. Are things actually up closer? I don't know. No, I guess not. There's nothing in it. So cool. Sit next to you. Are you going to go down the slide? Ready? Wait for her to go down. I got to kind of go with her, baby. I'm so, excuse me, baby. Abby, okay. wait, let me go in front. Wait for them to go first. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Gotta get on my lap, okay? One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> go ahead. Look at you. Look at you, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you did it! You did it all by yourself, honey. Look at you go. You got it. Alright, ready? One, two, three, up. Ready? And. <laughs> go ahead. I can't believe that you could do this. All by yourself. That's a high. You're up really high. He's not going. <laughs> Let's go. Do you want to go down the side by yourself? Really? I think that you got this, baby. <laughs> you got it? You didn't go down by yourself? Someone's coming. Now remember, keep both your legs pointed, put your hands forward, hands forward. You got it? Ready? Let me say, Wee! 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 <laughs> oh, keep your, legs, keep your legs pointed together in the front, remember? All right, want to try the side again by yourself? You're getting so big. Too big, too fast. You are, you're so big. You are using the ladders. I am so proud of you. Do you notice that the slide's a dragon? Peekaboo baby. Keep your legs pointed straight. Like put them together, point them out. Ready? Ooh! You did it! Want to go on the swings? You want to get off? Here, come. Okay, let's see you do this again. You can do this for as long as you want. <laughs> Hi, baby. Good job, honey. Yay! Wee! <laughs> I'm 
I'm so proud of you. Woo! Pick up your hands. Up oh, here comes the baby doll. The little girl's gonna come down soon. Come on. There she goes. I see your baby doll. I go up with her. I'll be right back. Okay, you go up with her, you'll be right back. Look, make a friend say hi. Hi. There you go. You can ask her what her name is. Yeah. Oh, baby, I am so proud of you. How old are your little girl? Three. Three? She's two. Oh, two, yeah. Yeah. They're close in age. Yeah. Yeah. And so she got the ladder today. <laughs> and this one's a high ladder, too. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> All right, do you want to go back to the concert series? No. The Firefly event got um, canceled. You can keep going down the slide if you want. You want your jacket off? Are you too warm? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let go, baby. Keep going. You got it. Your mama was six months old. Everyone was at one point in time six months old. Right now you're two years old. Come on. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah. Watch out, baby. Someone might be coming down. I think there's another little girl up there ready to go. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, you can. Nothing. Go, Kawa. He's coming. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait for the kids to go. No, I'm not late. No. No. I'm going to stay down all day. You want to come back down? I'm going to you. Face number, when you're climbing down the ladder, you face the ladder, okay? Look, there's a slide right there, too, in front of you. You want to go down the brown side? No. You want to go down the green side? You can go down the green one. The girls aren't going down, baby. They're playing catch. They're hiding. They're either playing cops and robbers or catch or freeze or something. They're playing something. All right. What are you guys playing? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek. There you go. They're playing hide and go seek. She can go past them. Yeah, yeah. Go, baby. Go past them. See? They're out of the way. You got this. You got it, baby. Are you hiding too? Just don't fall off of there. Come on, sweet girl. Come down the slide. Is my face so red? He's right there somewhere. Wee!
Want to go play the drums? You got this, baby. I really hope she does now. You had it. Like you go down the ladder. Such a good girl. These don't spin. They're just stationary. Oh my god, Was it so much fun? It was a fun idea. We were supposed to be doing a dance party today but it got cancelled. You want me to go down the ladder? You mean up the ladder? Okay. You want me to meet you at the top? Okay. Let's have you climb up first. I'll meet you at the top. I'm going to run around it. Karina. Hey, 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 Karina. Karina. No, baby. Don't climb down yet without me, okay? Because you don't know really to face the ladder. Uh, come here. Play the bongo drums. You will drive. You drive, I'll play the drums. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I want to go down this slide right here. The little slide, yeah. Say, excuse me. Go ahead, baby. Oh, no, wait, guys, never tell. Never tell. Because I will tell you where you were, guys. Shh. He's going to hear it. Yeah, true. That's good. All right, I need to stick. Where is he? He's still in the castle. Should we go? No, no. should we run? No. no. Wait till he, like, gives up and goes to the castle. Yeah. Yay! They will go. He's the guy. No, he didn't have a pilot. She left her dolly right there. Yeah, the dolly's in the shade waiting for her. That's her baby doll, honey. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, baby, you to go down the side? too funny. It's really cute. Wanna go in the big castle? You got it, baby. Look at the ants right here. See them? Okay, so what do you want to do on here? You wanna walk across it? Well that's what it's for. So you're very little. 
Whoa, good job. Oh. It's not too hard. You can do it. I can balance this here. All right, let's try it. Okay, can you do it? Ready. Okay, ready? Okay, you're on one. You have to jump to the second one. Whoa, you did it. Okay, really close. Whoa, really close. Yay! Okay, let's do it back. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! You want to do it again? Okay, ready? One, two, ready? Three! Ready? Want to do it one more time? I'm crying. Okay, let's see you crying. Hold on. Stay right here. Wait. Ready? Okay. Let's see if we can have you fun. Ready? One, two, three. Go. Make a stop first. Wanna take a ride? Ready? Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on to the bar in the front. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go. You okay? Laughing all the way, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to laugh and sing a sleigh song tonight! Oh, you got it. Good job. Uh, this is the slide part, babe. Do you want to go up the stairs? People might be coming down here soon. I'm not going to pick you up there. Karina, no. Karina. Good crawling job, baby. Good crawling, baby. Fun. You want to go up the stairs? Look, come here. Go ahead. Okay, let's see you climb. Can you do it? Say no. Is that how you're supposed to climb it? Use your hands and your feet. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Good climber. You got it. You did it. Karina, wait. Go on what? Stop. Yeah, this is an elevator. This is what they were talking about before. Um, baby, I don't really want us to go on this. Okay? Is that okay with you? 
Okay, yeah, let's go do something else. I don't want to. I don't want to take you on this with me because it's in case we fall. Good job. Is it dark? It is. It is dark. Ready? Wait for Mama. Karina, wait. Karina. Look. How far am I from the sun? You see this? We're on Earth. Don't climb up that way. You wanna go down the side here? Do you wanna go all the way to the top first? The side is over here. I know. Thank you, honey. Okay, you wanna go down here? Wanna go on the swings? Let's go on the swings. Do you wanna go this way? I know, Daddy will come down. Let's go see if he's coming down this way. Do you want to go play on the swings? See? That's all they were, were little boys and men dressed up in armor. Killing each other over nothing. You want some water? Karina. Karina, come on. You want some water? Do you want to go on one of the swings? We're not in a hurry or anything. if their mama got lost. If the little girl's mama got lost. You gotta hold on to it really tight. Go away. Well, honey, you just gave up your turn. She was getting out for you, and then you wanted to go on the tire swing. Now I have to wait until the little girl's done, okay? Don't get off of it unless I know, okay? Yeah. We are at the park. We came here for the dance party, but the dance party is rescheduled. I hope that the Firefly event's rescheduled too.
Yeah. That is a little girl. If you need help or if you feel like you're falling off, you just let Mama know, okay? It's like, Mama, stop because I'm falling off or I don't feel safe, okay? And I will stop it for you. Are you having fun on the tire swing? Yeah. Good. Do you feel like you're comfortable? I'm so sorry. Are you slipping? No. Now, want me to move you back a little bit? Okay. No. Let's just move you back a little bit anyway, okay? <laughs> you feel comfortable like that? Okay. Alex! Whoa! That's their papa, yeah. They're swinging. They are swinging together. That is a little birdie. I see it, Angel. See him? Here he goes. He is on the bench. He's looking for food. That's what everyone and everything does, like for food. Yeah, that birdie is looking for food. That's what little birdies do. This is our playground. It's everyone's playground. It's community. It's a community playground. Aren't we lucky that they have it? They can play. It's community stroller. No, that's our stroller. We got it from a community person, though. Someone was giving it away. Do, 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 do. Whoa! That's right. I'm a um, mom. You're a mama? <laughs> you can hold the kids? <laughs> okay. I'm going to be a mom one day if I can hold our kids. Yep, you can be a mama one day and hold your kid. 
Okay. I hold my pocket. Yeah, the, the, the little girl and the little boy are all done. Doo 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 doo. Wherever you are. I'm going up. Okay. You all done? Yeah. You want to go on that one? Yeah. On this terrace. Okay. Um. Oh, Ooh, whoa! Whoa! Wee! Where's that little face? Wee! It's a chair swing. It is a chair swing, that's right. It's not on the bed swing. No, it's not. It's not on the bed. This one's like a bed. Yeah. Yeah. Wee. I'm going up on that. You want to go on that swing? No, you want on this swing. Okay, come on, let's go. No. You want to go on that swing, or do you want me? You mean you want me to push you and go on the other swing with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Whoa. We are going to go home. Um, it is 7.49. Now this dance party was only supposed to last until 8 o'clock, right? It's 7.49. I moved Karina over because I can't move my seat back. And I drive a lot, so my seat up and me scrunching is not very good. I don't like it. So I talked to James. I'm like, look, I'm going to move our seat over. And he starts complaining. I'm like, I can't move. He's like, oh, I don't understand because every time he's taller than I am by eight inches. So, I mean, when he gets in the car, it's like, oh my gosh, this seat's so far forward or whatever because he needs it moved even further back than I do. And I'm um, like, I can't move my seat. My back hurts. Like, you know, I just can't do this with it being in the middle anymore. So, I'm going to put her seat on the passenger side. And he's like, I don't understand why you need to put it on the passenger side. He's like, you always have it so scrunched up to begin with. And I'm like, no, I don't. It's just from your viewpoint, I do. And I'm like, you could have a different viewpoint than I do. We have a different viewpoint on everything, you know? So I'm like, from your viewpoint, it looks it looks like I'm very scrunched up. Like, look at how far away I am from the steering wheel normally. Like, this is normally how far away I am. I am relatively, I feel like I'm far probably move my legs back a little bit. Now that Karina's seat isn't there too, I just adjusted my backrest. I didn't really adjust the rest of it yet. But um, he's like, I've showed you how to move your seat around so that it fits you and you won't listen to me. I'm like, no, it doesn't fit me that way though. It fits you that way. Like I am not you, you know? And uh, so he went back and forth a little bit about, you know, how he showed me how to fix the seat, the way that it fits him, the way it doesn't fit me. And he doesn't understand why my seat needs to move, be able to move a little bit back 
from where it is because I'm sitting up like this and I'm putting pressure on my lumbar and stuff and he's just talking about things. No, 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 what baby? We're gonna see if there's a bounce house now down at the um, concert series uh, to see if Karina can go in that for a little bit. But honestly, I need to go home and we need to pack. In the picnic lunch, yeah. Tomorrow night we're gonna do a picnic dinner like we did at the park a couple weeks ago. We're gonna do peanut butter and jelly and uh, lunch meat sandwiches and all kinds of things. It's gonna be so much fun and Papa's gonna be there. Because Papa promised to go. He's a little antsy about going. He has the, I don't think they're doing the concert series tonight. There's like nobody here. A very small group. There's three people here. So yeah, I think everything, plus there's three people in the grass and two people up there. So three, six, there's eight people there. You know, no bounce house, no nothing tonight. Um, our Firefly event got canceled. Everything got canceled for tonight. So um, we're going to go home and pack. And then tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to go to the reading opening. That's why I decided the event is going to be during the day that we're going to go to because I had like four events for tomorrow, but I'm not running from event to event tomorrow because one ends at five, one, to, one ends at three. So like I could, and another one starts at five. So like, and you know, so I think I'm going to go to the 1030 to three one, and then I might stop by the 12 to five one, but I mean, it might be just about over by the time we get there anyway, because it didn't, like ends at five. So normally people start like getting up at 430 or four o'clock. And uh, then we're going to go to the, um, the camping event. There is a fireworks event tomorrow and there is a community event tomorrow as well that we are just not gonna make it to because we are gonna go camping. I think that the camping event is gonna be so much fun for my entire family and that's gonna be the event that I'm gonna really focus on for the nighttime um, instead of trying to go to maybe set up the tent and do things around there and then go see fireworks and come back to the tent. Now we're just gonna stay, stay at the tent. So Karina doesn't really like fireworks anyway. Like last year when she first saw them, she was like, bam, bam, cause Papa was there. But since then, no, she, since December, um, beginning of January during New Year's, when we saw the fireworks outside of our house, I have a video of it. She's like, no, I don't like it. No, like, what is that? You know, we were so far away from it. Like we only saw like the light up in the sky and we heard the explosions and she did not like it. And since December, um, she did not like fireworks anymore. So <sighs> kids change so fast. Things that they like, things that they don't like, it changes so fast. So I'm hoping that it will change back should like fireworks again so but no we had a fun night regardless um usually if we're too late to an event or um if the event got canceled we will just find something else to do while we're there either like you know when we went to the magic show we were a little bit too late so we saw a few tricks so we went to the park you know there's always usually a park close by so like even if you miss your event you make it special by going to a new adventure at a new park so sometimes you don't always hit up the things that you want to which is no big deal Karina wanted to open these, they're the lemon dairy-free things for tomorrow night. Um, right now I'm just trying to pack for tomorrow night so that this way we'll all be set to go with things that don't really need to be refrigerated. So, I'm going to do a picnic lunch. Hi Angel, did you hear me saying I'm packing? Yeah, we're having a picnic dinner tomorrow. Picnic dinner. It's going to be so much fun. All this stuff is already packed, and I'll leave this stuff in here, okay? And then tomorrow we're just going to grab it and go, I might even do some pineapple or something, I'm not sure. Are you hungry? Do you want dinner? Baby doll, you want dinner? You want some noodles and chicken and stuff? I'm going to some you're going to what? Lunch. Noodles. Some noodles. You want some dishes? Well, what do you want in the dishes, baby? 
Powder gets it. You want a water bottle? The water bottle top? Orange. The orange water bottle top? Okay. Orange. Ah, uh, here you go. It's literally just a top angel. Need a water bottle. It's the water bottle. You want me to put some water in it? Mama's gonna go get the tent out. I can't believe they canceled everything tonight because it's 9.02, it didn't even rain yet. It's another half an hour until the, the, the other event was over. Like, it hasn't even rained and all the, all the activities were canceled. It was supposed to be thunderstorms, so I guess that's why they canceled everything. Look at you. Look at you. What are you up to? Huh? Let me get your little ball. My convict kitty. You got it? You got it working? My cute little baby. You're so tiny. Mama loves you. Mama loves you. <laughs> picnic lunch. You want some picnic lunch? Uh, Cracker. Uh, Cracker. Uh, elbow. Elbow. And a picture. On the picture, yep. Uh, elbow. Uh, elbow. Uh, elbow. You have fun today? Uh, pig. Karina, what was the favorite part of your day? A pink bag. What was your favorite part of today? Was it the park? Was your favorite part today the park? I don't like it. You don't like it? I'm going to drink the cup. Mm. The water bottle. Okay, you do that. Mama has to go get the tent out. Okay? If you want dinner, you let me know and I'll put dinner on the table for you, okay? Yeah, you're so cute. So excited for James to be going someplace with us tomorrow. After I get the tent out, I'm actually gonna go to bed. I think that we're gonna um, be using. I think we're gonna actually do dinner, then feed, feed squish, then go to bed. But um, I think that we're gonna be using James's car tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Last year we went camping, and then I came home and I opened up the tents because they were. They got, like, rained on, and um, they were all wet, and they were going to get all mildewy. So I opened up the tents, and then I told James he was going to have to help me close them up. He was like, well, who used them? I didn't use them. You used them. And so I didn't close them up by myself. So they are in a tote, still not closed up, which is fine because we're using them again this year. And um, I'm going to get sand from the hardware store and make Karina a sand pit. I want the tea piece. It's already nine. Wait at nine. Where's my stand at? It's right here. Baby girl. And some pasta for what? Want some pasta for dinner? All right, let's do dinner then. We could do that. I am completely lunch. tired. Pasta for lunch, baby. It's gonna be any meal you want it to be. I'm so tired. Um, we're going to do dinner first, and then we're going to go and pack up for tomorrow. And then we're going to go to bed. So, James is out catching fish. So, he's not going to take anything at home with him. He's wearing his work clothes. We've talked about this. Like, put extra clothes in your car. Change out of your work clothes. It's just creating more work for me to do later. This is so hard. Great. So that's okay though. So Karina wants some mango, so we have some mango and we have some dinner and we're gonna eat. 
I don't know, I'm still kind of mad at James for yesterday. But, I mean, I don't have any choices or options, really, so. What can I do besides from go along with whatever he wants? So, yeah. Look at you. You are such a good girl. You're such a good eater. I'm so proud of you. So, Greena, what was the favorite? What was your favorite part of today? Up to up sauce. <laughs> was up, it the sauce, really? Up to was it the tortellini and the sauce, the cheese sauce? That's your favorite part of today. Up my up fork. With your fork, okay. That sounds very good. My favorite part of today was hanging out with you at the park. I thought that was a lot of fun. It must be nice to be a guy. You know, you just go along on adventures that the women in your life take you on. You know? You okay? Basically, that's what you do. Like, we are going camping tomorrow. Where's James? Out with his friends. Where am I? At home, trying to get everything together and ready to go. Like... But then again, he's not really into the camping trip, so... Yeah, I can't really blame him for just doing whatever he wants. I thought this would eventually pick up and start playing up in a new movie. We are watching Your Baby Can Read Tonight, the review. Um, we just watched a Little Pim. Karina's not really watching it. But um, I do want her to still be doing this. I need to get her the phonics version of this soon. I keep talking about it and just I don't have any money to get it. I need to get, um, we have a blow up mattress somewhere. I don't know where it is. I thought it was, it was in the Jeep. It was in the back seat of the Jeep. So it has to be somewhere in here. I put all the Jeep stuff in here. So basically what I'm trying to do is get together like camping stuff that we are going to need for tomorrow. Oh, here it is. So I have the tent out and I have the air mattress out. Uh, James is going to sleep on this. His, you know, it gives him a little bit of padding, but I'm not giving up my air mattress for him. This is mine. Um, I guess we could bring the big air mattress, and because we're going with Karina, so maybe we'll do the queen size air mattress for the night and blow it up with the car pump. James doesn't like that I use the car pump to like blow things up though, but still look up if there's another way to do it. All right, so we have this for the car to charge this. Please be careful, Karina. For the pump. So we're going to take the queen size air mattress so that this way everyone should fit on it. And we're going to take some blankets tomorrow. I'm going to pack up some blankets so that we are ready to go. And I'm going to make lunches tomorrow. I think that once James gets home, I'm just going to pack in the car. So I have the stuff for the air mattress. I'm literally going to put this inside of here so that we don't lose it. Um, I just found it. It's funny, I'm tearing apart my heart, my, yeah, my heart, my house to find camping gear. Um, so this is our tents. This is Karina's sleeping bag. Um, I'm literally just going to take the blankets. I don't think we need a sleeping bag. It's not very cold um, at night right now. So, but I am. I think the sleeping bags were in the Jeep too. Like the camping stuff was kind of like in the Jeep. And I bought it in the house and like dispersed it places. And now I need to find it. And it's just like I don't know where half this stuff is. So, I don't know. You said? Come on. Do I have to pretend to be Papa? You know we're going to bed soon, right? Papa, it's dinner time. Okay, baby. You have some grapes? Oh. I'm going to need a fork. Come on, James. It's dinner time. Okay. Thank you, baby. I'm a mama. You're a mama. You're the best mama in the world, baby. I'm a teacher mama. 
your teacher mama like mama is to you? Mama tries to be a good teacher to you. Yeah. Do you want to go to school? Sit down a chair. Mm -hmm. That you're instructing me? So I'm sure. Yeah, you're instructing me. Fine. Oh. Sit on a chair. Alright, so what am I eating for dinner, baby? What are you feeding me? Grapes? Broccoli and eggs? I get spinach. You just what? I'm getting spinach. Pull this back. Maybe this would be a better angle. Story time, baby. Yeah, I talked to James on the phone. He apparently isn't coming home for a long time. Papa, put it in here. Sure, baby. Here, I'm gonna hand it to you. If I hand it to you, we put it in there. I'll hand you all the stuff because you're closer to it. Put it in here. I can't reach it. You can do it. You're closer. Reach it. No! Reach it. Reach it. I know I'm almost tired. Thank you. I'm going to try to pack for camping and stuff tomorrow, baby. Thank you. You're welcome.
Go McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some animals. We have to put this stuff all away because Squish will pop it tonight. So. <laughs> we have to go to bed because we have a long day tomorrow. We have a long weekend coming up later. What do you want on um, play dinner? Play dinner? Who are you serving away? I don't want to do it again. No, tonight. We'll do it again tomorrow. I want to go do homeschool. Because we haven't done it yesterday. We can go over verbs, synonyms, and antonyms. We can go over this. We can go over the ABCs. What do you want to go over? What do you want to do? He can go over the plate and I can close him and he go go uh, over the plate. Close him up over the plate. Oh. Ready? Go get it. Look at you looking like that's too far. Oh. Ready? Whoa. Hey, monkey. Squish. Ah, it's I after you. Gonna... Squish, are you in it? Dance, baby, dance. <laughs> that cute little baby. I love that too. Ready? Arms up. Arms up. <laughs> Arms down. Arms up. <laughs> I don't say jump. Arms up. <laughs> Arms down. <laughs> and to my right, to my left, stay up and down. And to my right, and to my left. Monkey in a round. You gonna jump on me? You okay?
What? You want a what? Fire. You want a fire? Are you a fire truck? A fire toy? Fire. I'm gonna see what that looks like when she fell. Oh. Alright, so the part of the video where she's laughing, she laughs in real life. The, real, the video where she's crying, oh. she cries in real time. Oh. That's for Papa. Look at those little toesies! Oh. Look at those little feet! Oh. You are the best. Oh. You know that? You are the best little baby! Look at you! Oh. You're a trooper, I think you're gonna oh. live. I think you're gonna live. Wanna get a teether? Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, let's get up. Go get a teether. Oh, this bike that's in the way. I wish we had a shed. Ouch! Darn it. Alright, if you move this one up, it should this one up a little bit. Okay. Right, baby, is there um, a specific book you want to read tonight? Yeah. Which one? A big. A big? Want to read? You read to me, I'll read to you. Want to read this one? Or want to read one of the doctor's usage books? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Watching the stars. You read to me, I'll read to you. Very short, very short stories to read together. You read to me, I'll read to you. Introduction. Here's a book with something new. You read to me, I'll read to you. We'll read each page to one another, you'll read one side, I the other. But who will read? Now guess this riddle when the words are in the middle. The answer's easy, plain as pie. We'll read together, you and I. The two mice. I see a mouse, I see one too, we see two mice. What shall we do? Let's give them names. What shall they be? Pip and Peep, he and she, dot and dash, squeal and squack. Oh, squeal and squack. To and fro, hide and seek. Two mice are nice, two mice are fun. They are twice as nice as only one. And when we read all, it's just the same. Two readers reading, make a game twice as nice when there are two you'll read to me i'll read to you oh no did the book get read oh no there we go no bigs the big cat oh my i spy a great big cat a great big cat i don't like that Run, mice, run, stay, cat, stay. Oh, good, the mice have got away. Now, pussy cat, this isn't nice. You shouldn't scare the little mice. We know you want them for your food, but eating mice is really rude. It's not a proper thing to do. Why, what if someone gobbled you? Think how sad your friends would feel if you were eaten for a meal. We'll give you cream, your very own, if you will leave the mice no. alone. You want a different book? Uh, huh. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's try this one out. Dr. Zeus. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish. 
red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say what a lot of fish there are. Look at this car. Yes, some are red and some are blue and some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad and some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your papa. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. Look at his yellow hat. What color is the fat one? See him? From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. To there, to here. Here are some who like to run, they run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. See the rays from the sun? There's the sun. And see what they're doing? They're hiding from the sun's rays of the umbrella like we do. Some have two feet. Let's find the ones with two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, this one has four. Some have four feet. Some have six feet. Some have more. Look. One, two, three, four. Let's find one with six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight feet. There's an eight footed one right there. There's a six footed one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four feet, six feet, eight feet, two feet. Look at that. Where did they come from? I cannot say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why. Go ask your mama. Say... Look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven plus four equals eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he has eleven. Eleven, this is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Bump, bump, bump. Do you ever ride a wump? We have a wump. With just one hump, but we know a man called Mr. Grump. He has a seven hump wump. So, if you like to go bump bump, just jump on the hump of a wump of a grump. Angel. My beautiful girl. Where do you want your baby? Want a hand? We like our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits on in back. You see, we like our mic, and this is why Mike does all the work when the hills get high. See him doing all the work? Whoa! Here, there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? Here are things in your little bed. What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look at my ear? There must be something that I fear. Say, look, a bird was in his ear. But he is out, so have no fear. Again, you can hear, my dear. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. 
We took a look. We saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. How to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook couldn't read, so a nook couldn't cook. So what good is a nook in a hook cookbook? He's trying to figure it out, though. See, he's trying really hard. How to cook. If he could read one word, he could read any word. Right? The moon was out, and we saw some, some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of the star, they walked all night near and far. I would never walk, I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day, I box a box. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you string. Oh, if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high, my, my ying sings low, and we are not too bad, you know. This one, I think, is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink and thinks he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. He's drinking so much pink that he's turning pink. Hop, hop. I am a yop, and I like to do is hop. From finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right. Then I hop. hop. Come here. Lay down with me. Lay down with me. What do you say? We got a way to lay down. What do you say? Put these ones over here for Papa. Move the books out of the way. Is my pillow? No. Where's my other pillow? Closing the books? No. No, I'm not closing the books. Mama is laying down with you. So Mama's not closing the books. Story time is not over. You thought story time was over? No, I'm not closing the books. No, I'm not closing the books. Come here. Come here. It's okay. You're okay. You think that story time is over, right? Is that what you think? No. It's okay. Alright. We didn't say. 
I like to hop all day and night from right to left, from left to right. I like, why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Your papa loves you. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Brush, hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Do you ever fly a kite in bed? Do you ever walk with tin cats on your head? Do you ever milk like this, this kind of cow? Well, we can do it. We know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun and fun is good. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello. I called you up to say hello. I said hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh, no, I cannot hear your call. I did not hear your call at all. This is not good, and I don't know why. A mouse has a cut wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, plenty things are anywhere, or everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up in their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say. They had a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish, ish, wish, ish, dish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish, swish, swish. Then I say I wish for fish. And I get a fish right on my dish. So, if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with ish with fish. At our home we play out back. We play a game called Ring a Gap. Would you like to play this game? Calm down. We have the only gack in town. Oh I never fed him. Look what we found in the park in the dark. Will you take him home? We will call him Clark. We will live at our house. He will grow and grow with our mother like this. We don't know. And now good night is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our tent deep. Today is gone, tomorrow was fun, uh, today is gone, today was fun, tomorrow is another one, every day from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Big cat. Oh, I spy a great big cat. A great big cat. I don't like that. Run, mice, run. This one already run. There are two mice. I see one too. I hate my hat. I hate my hat. I think it's nice. I hate my hat. You said that twice. I hate my hat. Now that's the third. I hate my hat. I hate that word. You hate that word. What word is that? The word 
You said, you mean my hat? No, not your hat. Your hat looks great. I like your hat. It's hate I hate. But not my hat? You don't hate that? Of course not. I don't. I like your hat. You like my hat? I said I do. I think your hat looks good on you. You like my hat? I like it fine. I like your hat. Do you like mine? Oh yes I do. It suits your head. Now let's do something else instead. Something else we both would like. Let's wear our hats and ride a bike. That sounds good. We'll take a snack. What should we do when we get back? Something that we both like to do, you read to me, I'll read to you. I don't know how this put all sticky. Hop and skip. I like to hop, I like to skip, but sometimes when I hop I trip, and sometimes when I skip I slip, and sometimes when our clothes might rip. And when they rip my mom gets mad, and when I, they rip, so does my papa. My mama says walk instead of run. My papa does too. But that's no fun. If you just walk to where you go instead of run, you go too slow. But if you skip or if you hop, sometimes it's really hard to stop. But sometimes it's nice to sit. Then let's sit down a little bit. What shall we do? Now let me see. I'll read to you. You'll read to me. The snowman. Hi ho, hi ho. You okay? The world is white. Hi ho, hi ho. It snowed last night. It snowed while we were fast asleep. It's nice and high and very deep. Put on your clothes, the ones for snow. Put on your boots and then let's go. What shall we do the first of all? Let's build a snowman, roll the ball. I'll roll the bottom on the ground. I'll make a middle nice and round. I'll find a pebble for each eye. And if he starts to melt, he'll cry. His mouth can be an apple slice. An apple slice will turn to ice. I'm getting pretty icy too. Do you like ice? So do you. Let's go inside, let's get a drink. Some cocoa would be good, I think. And while we are in, what shall we do? You read to me, I'll read to you. The dime, I found a dime, you found a dime. I'm finding money all the time. Where did you find it? Here and there, along the streets and everywhere. I lost a dime, you lost a dime. I'm losing my money all the time. I wonder if you found my dime. I found my dime at dinner time. I lost my dime at five o'clock when I was walking down the block. If what I found belongs to you, there's just one dime instead of two. Then we shall divide the dime in two, a nickel each. It's up to you. Or shall we buy one thing to share? That would be fun. That would be fair. We could buy a storybook. We'll hold it so we both can look. Well, we hold it so we both can see. I'll read to you. You'll read to me. I like. I like soda, I like milk, I like satin, I like silk, I like puppies, I like kittens, I like gloves, and I like mittens, I like apples, I like pears, I like tigers, I like bears, I like slides, and I like swings. We don't agree on anything. I like butter, I like jam, I like turkey, I like ham, I like rivers, I like lakes, I like cookies, I like cakes. I like yellow, I like blue, I like pizza. I like stew, I like summer, I like spring. We don't agree on anything. There is something else I like a lot. If I like it, you will not. There's something else I like too. But you won't like it if I do. 
tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. I like reading, reading's fine. You like reading, yes I do. My reading was what I picked too. Then, well then, at last we both agree, I'll read to you, you'll read to me. My snake. I have a snake. Her name is Jill. She sits upon the windowsill. You keep a snake to be your pet. A pretty scary pet, I bet. Jill isn't scary, not a bit. But can she fetch or can she sit? She can't. She hasn't learned to do that yet. But still, she is a perfect pet. But can she beg or chase a ball? Does she come? running when you call. She cannot beg or chase or run, but she's Jill. It's a lot of fun. She doesn't sound like fun to me. What can she do? What fun is she? Well, Jill can hiss and Jill can smile. Your snake can smile once in a while and Jill can shed her, her snaky skin. She sheds her skin. That's what she's in. She's in another skin that's new. Well, that's a clever thing to do. And when I read my favorite books, Jill's hangs around my neck and looks. A thing that I'd like to see, will Jill look at some books with me? She'll do it if I'm reading too. Well then, I know what we shall do. You read to me, I'll read to you. telephone. Dingling, tingling, the telephone begins to ring. Hello, 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 it's me. I know, it's me, I know. Are you in bed? Not yet. Are you? I'm almost there. I'm almost too. I'm in my pajamas. I'm not yet. I took a bath. My hair's still wet. Did you do the spelling list? I did, did you? There's one I missed. I missed two. I had to look. Have you read the chapter book? I've just started chapter three. I have two. So read with me. Read together, not alone, while we are on the telephone. It won't take long to get it done. I bet my book. I'll get my book. It sounds like fun. Back and forth until we're through. You read to me. I'll read to you. <laughs> Cats in the bathroom. The puppy. The puppy's muddy. Look at her. I've never seen such dirty fur. My goodness, she's a grubby pup. I think we better clean her up. Let's put the puppy in the tub. I'll give the pup a great scrub. With lots of water, lots of soap. And that will get her clean, I hope. Now rinse her off. Her bath is done. It's time to dry her in the sun. She looks so pretty and fluffed up. I've never seen her so clean of up. Oh my. She's got away. She's gotten mud. Her coat is gray. She's dirtier than yesterday. She's having fun. Let's let her play. Then let's find something else to do. I know what. And you do too. You read to me. I'll read to you. The bear, my little brother saw a bear. He saw a bear, he saw it where? He said he saw it in his bed. That's where it was, my brother said. Your brother saw a bear in bed, in his own bed? That's what he said. I bet it gave him quite a fright. I asked if he could spare the night. I'll spend the night, spend the night right in his bed. The bear asked him that? That's what he said. So then what did your brother say? He told the bear it could stay, that it could stay, that it could stay the night one more, if it would promise not to snore. Your little brother sounds quite brave to tell a bear how to behave. He said he fed it from a cup. Sometimes he likes to make things up. He made it up about the bear. Perhaps he did, but I don't care. It's still a story that is fun. Then let's make up another one. We'll write it down, and when we're through, you read to me, I'll read to you. New friends. My birthday's here and mine is too. 
How old are you? How old are you? I asked you first. You've got to say, all right, I'm six. I'm six today. Why, I am too. You're just the same. We both are six. Well, what's your name? Well, what's yours? You've got to tell. I've asked you first. I'm Annabelle. Now, what is yours? Why don't you guess? You've got to tell. All right, I'm Jess. Where do you live? I live quite near. Where do you live? A block from here. It is funny that we've never met. I've walked right by your house, I bet. I bet I've walked right by yours too, and yet we've never even knew. Well, let's be friends. I'd like that fine. Now you're my friend, and you are mine. Do you know how to read? You do. Do you? I asked you first. I can. Me too. Well, if we can both read, let's do. You read to me. I'll read to you. The end. We are at the end, the very end, the very, very, very end. No more words or pictures. Look, no more stories in this book. But there are other books to read, hundreds, thousands, and we need any time and any weather. We can sit right down together in the shade or in the sun. Choose a book that looks like fun. One that's old, one that's new. Make believe or really true. I'll read one line. I'll read to you read to me, I'll read to you. The end. Thirty-two, thirteen in the morning. I need to go feed James. Look at that crazy cat. It's four o'clock in the morning and I can't fall asleep because James is in the other room. He's just balanced on that bike. He sees something outside. Of course, my little girl's asleep. That thing's actually looks. Watch my video. It's not.